Got some good entertainment news for you this morning. Did you ever see the show Who Stole My Dead Husband? Uh, one of Portland's longest interactive uh, dinner shows ran from 2004 to 2010 around here. Well, guess what? It's coming back. Six shows only in mid-May. I'll have the dates for you in a moment. But I had a chance to catch up with Lou Pilata. He is the uh, show creator and lead actor. And I asked Lou, uh, why, why bring it back? I mean, didn't everybody in Portland see this once? Well, I don't think everybody has seen it in Portland. Actually, uh, penetration was about 15%, but we ran for six years. So I don't know. I can't do that kind of math in my head that quickly. <laughs> but there's still a lot of people. And, you know, it's really funny. When we closed the show, the phone lines always stayed open. So the phones never stopped ringing. So people kept calling, kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. But the cast was tired. You know, so we decided that was it. We were finished. But, you know, this is a cast that's it's been family for about, you know, working together for six years. So they just started bugging me, like, let's do something. Let's do something. Let's do something else. So I decided to write a new show. But before we open the new show, which will be in September, we wanted to run the old show. So it gives people a chance to catch up. I see. So you've got a sequel, but you want to remind people of the story in order to get to the sequel. Is that how it works? Remind people of the story. Plus, you know, people came to see Who Stole My Dead Husband five, six, seven times. And the funny thing is, people would call with the same silly questions. And I'd always be like, you've seen the show so many times. You know everything there is to know about the show. And they'd be like, yeah, everything. And be like, okay, tell me who was the dead guy. And they'd be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have to come back <laughs> because our show is really not like a murder mystery where you have to think. We ask you to leave your thinking at home. We just ask you to bring your, your appetite and your desire to, to kind of let loose and drink a little vino and have a good time. And it's an interactive dinner show. Exactly how do you uh, interact with the audience, your players? Well, uh, you know, the, the actors get to sit and talk and eat with uh, the audience and um, – uh, you know, there's a lot for the actors to tell the audience during the show because there's a lot of questions the audience will have about who's who and what's what as it's going on in the show. Again, it's not like clues. It's not a mystery. We tell you everything, but you still can't figure it out because it's a crazy Italian, Brooklyn Italian family. And I make sure I add the Brooklyn Italian piece not to insult Italians in the neighborhood. <laughs> 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 and the sequel title is Why Can't You Stay Dead? I love the title, but is it pretty much more of the same? Well, it's pretty much more of the same. It gets a little bit different. The first one was really close to my heart. It was really about my story growing up. It was a true story, so it was, you know, with the, you know, with the, little, with the little liberties that I've taken on changing the story a little bit. But it was more personal. The second story is just kind of the continuation. And, and you know, we had some great loss in our family, in our, in our acting family. Um, so we want to pay tribute to, uh, I, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Jimmy Caputo. Remember Jimmy, when he came in, we came in and did live in your studio. So um, Jimmy passed away. Yeah. And, um, you know, and then my wife passed away just recently. And both of them were integral parts of the show. So we want to pay tribute to that. And, you know, the cast is coming back just to, you know, in part to do that. Well, you know, this show is so much fun. but And I'm so sorry about your losses, uh, Lou. But, uh it adds a different element. It adds uh, something here that wasn't there before, right? Well, it actually does because we're we're about real life and real living and the passions and you know, especially as a me as an Italian man, I'm a very passionate human being. So you know, the passions, you know, I live through grief and art, and so the, we're just taking some of that grief and throwing it back up on stage. And it's usually those kinds of things that motivate somebody to do art in some form. So. Um, we were actually, you know, we, we kind of decided to put Who Stole My Dead Husband on the shelf, and we never thought we'd act actually do anything together again. And then, you know, people just got the itch and the urge, and I got motivated to do something to deal with my grief. So, you know, that's what we're doing. Hard to interview you on the radio, Lou. I can't see your hands move. But uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it there for now. Six shows, May 17th through June 1st at Madison's Banquet Hall here in Portland. And uh, we'll link our website to yours today, Lou, so people can find out more. Lou Pilata and the show is Who Stole My Dead Husband? Again, back in Portland. Lou, thank you. Thank you very much. KSU's time, 841.